y'all i'm picking up on a female who is messing with somebody she got her little cut friend okay and every time that she hangs out with her cut friend and stays to stays the night she has a lot of almost supernatural experiences she gets woke up out of her sleep um wakes up having hot flashes different energy like that in the middle of the night okay so she wondering why she always and then after she leaves him she's in a funky energy for a few days so she wondering why she always feeling you know yucky like she got a hangover this nine of pentacles here we talking about she wondering why she always feeling like she's struggling after she leave from being with this man and the reason is is that you got uh he got excuse me he got i cut the deck on who he got a devil energy somebody from his past that he's still attached to that wanted justice with him so she is trying to do spell work to cause any woman that he deals with to walk away to reject him this is why when you go this king of cups energy he may be a water sign okay but this this woman that he's attached to from his past okay she been putting spell work on any female that fuck with him she gonna face some negative spiritual energy okay with this star card here that's the truth of the matter. This woman be up under the stars putting some type of spell, doing some type of incantation to block him from keeping another woman around, okay? We got the magician on the bottom here. And then we have the seven of wands. She's definitely doing some spell work to block. This is him, okay? And these are all these other women, these are these women that he's tried two, two, two on the phone to connect with, to start new beginnings with, okay? With this page of wands energy. A lot of these connections, they do start off as cut friend, getting to know you type of energies, okay? But what's happening is he can't keep nobody around long enough. They end up falling out. The woman stopped wanting to fuck with him whatever the situation is however they end up falling out with this five of wands i can't make it up however they end up falling out the reason why they're falling out is because he got a, a lover from his past this may be an ex like an ex-wife or a baby mama somebody like that but he still deals with this person he still communicates with this individual we have a king of wands that's why he's he's still in this King of Wands energy. She want him to stay single. She don't want nobody to hook up with him. Okay, she don't want the Wheel of Fortune to turn in no bitch favor when it comes to this King of Wands energy, okay? Because she still wants him. Something like that here. She can't have him, but she don't want nobody else to have him. And I'm telling you, this particular woman that I'm picking up on, this feminine, every time she stays the night or hangs out with this King of Cups, she experiences some form of discomfort when she's over his house. Okay? And she struggles for days after their interaction. Like, she doesn't feel right. She feels like she's trying to get over a hangover. And that's because this may have been his ex-wife, somebody he was in love with at one point this queen of cups energy here her ass is down casting on you that's why you feel like that okay we had the six of wands that fell out you're the current woman in the spotlight that's going to be spiritually attacked while you dealing with this man okay this is this is what this queen of cups does and she's coming out of his, out as his match, which lets me know, like I said, he still has some feelings and emotions for this woman. With this Ace of Wands, he possibly wants to start a passionate new beginning with this woman, but his feelings for her may be being manipulated by her, 
okay? Because she definitely putting in work to stop him from having a passionate new beginning with other people, okay? That's definitely out here. She does what she needs to do to cause these women to move on to calmer waters. They don't like the way they feel. They don't like, what is it? Look, what came out, tower. They don't like this energy that they're in after they interact and they know that it's not him. It's not anything he's doing. It's this witch bitch, okay? Rushing in with this Knight of Swords energy, trying to cause discomfort, confusion, delays, arguments between him and whoever he may be dealing with. Okay, she does a lot to keep these women out of his life. He can't, I'm telling you, if, the, if you're listening masculine, you be wondering when you be in a nine of swords, like, damn, why can't I keep a bitch? Why can't I keep a woman? What is going on here? Okay, and I feel like you have been wondering, is this something about me? What's wrong with me? Why can't I seem to get along and keep a decent woman by my side? And it's because... This Queen of Cups energy here, this Devil energy here, this High Priestess here that you used to be possibly married to, I'm getting marriage. That's what I'm getting because y'all do both still have some love for each other, but for whatever reason, y'all separated and it's like y'all still kind of cool. That's what I'm hearing, but in the background, she is putting spell work on you. To try to balance things in her favor. This is her ass back out here with this shell. With these shells. Doing some type of incantations and spell work. Trying to balance things in her favor. Trying to get you to believe that she, you need to be back with her. And that any woman that you meet is not going to be good enough somehow for you. Because, see, I feel like that's what be happening with you. You you start feeling some type of way after you've spent time with this woman in particular. You start feeling some type of way towards her, and then you start acting funny and shit. And it's that's when the drama ensues. Okay? That's because this woman putting spell work on you and any bitch that you try to connect to. I keep calling these women bitches. Y'all going to have to forgive me. Because this is what she be calling them. That bitch. Oh, he got another bitch he dealing with now? Mm -mm. I'm going to leave her ass in regret with this five of cups. That's what I'm hearing, y'all. She be calling y'all bitches. <laughs> oh, my goodness. This woman do not want nobody to mess with her man. That's still her man. I, she don't care. I was about to say, I don't care, honey. She, she coming through now. That woman do not care who he talked to. She ain't finna be sticking around long because that voodoo that she be putting on these women, that's why this woman was waking up in the middle of the night in sweats and shit because that woman was down putting some damn black magic on her ass. It's like she can sense when he has another woman around, even though she is at a distance from him. With this three of wands, that's why I said she got some magic on his ass too. He don't even know it. His his ass don't even know it, y'all. He's slow. He a little slow. I'm going to keep it a buck because he giving me that he ain't slow in a whole lot of other areas. But when it comes to this Queen of Cups, devil energy that he was married to, oh, he's slow behind that one, okay? And it's got something to do with his mental dehabilitation that he's experienced from this spell work. This woman probably been doing spell work on this man for years. That's probably how she got his ass to marry him. Marry her. I'm telling you, I'm hearing marriage, but that shit ain't work out like she thought it was because she used spell work to get him to marry her. Okay? Like I said, she had a plan that she was going to Betray this man to get betray this man to get what she wanted. Okay, she that's her vibe. She gonna portray him to get him. If she see or feel like he dealing with this is this you see that volcano? That's the other woman. Okay, 
That's the alarm, ring the alarm type of energy. So she finna go hard to do whatever she gotta do to put that woman in the dirt, in the ten of swords, to have that woman feel so just done with this guy that she walks away from him forever. And it was just 1010 on the phone. This woman is like, woo. Okay, she didn't came out as the high priestess, the devil, and a few other damn things. Okay, but she feels very satisfied when she puts the spell work on these women that are connected to her ex. Okay. She she don't have no shame. Look at her. That's her ass right there. Them all them spells and things she be cooking up. She don't have no shame. She does not want anybody to experience or celebrate or have any form of stability with this masculine, okay? Especially not this, this woman I was picking up on, this Empress Energy here, 1111 on the phone. She like, what the fuck going on? Cause see, she tapped in a little too now. A, more, a little bit more than little. A little bit, okay? She know what the fuck be going on. She know that this man ain't doing nothing against her. But she knows somebody doing something. And it's a form of love choice of his. Okay? This woman does not want this empress to be her form. I'm calling him her ex-husband, y'all. That's what I'm hearing. I keep hearing husband, wife, ex-husband, wife. Hell, they might just only be separated. Who knows? Okay, with this Hierophant card here, these people were married. I, I don't feel like they married now, but she show, still feel like she got a shot with her ex-husband. And like I said, both of these people do still have feelings for each other. Both of these people do still communicate with each other. They cool with this page of cups, okay? So he's leaving the door open for her to be able to do this spell work to do to perform this mem ooh, <laughs> perform this manipulation because he still communicates with her he still has feelings for her, for her even though he is looking at other women thinking of the possibilities with other people trying to date okay he he's trying to move on and move forward Okay, but this Queen of Cups, High Priestess, Devil Energy here, she is doing everything she can to have him pull back, to have these other women pull back, for them to be in the Four of Pentacles when it comes to dealing with him. If they, every time they go and hang out with him, they going through some shit, you know, you know what I'm saying? They get sick. They get wake up crazy. You know, people don't want to stay the night and hang and be around nobody. And they got to be going through that shit every time they go over there. They in some type of discomfort. Okay. you That's going to make you not want to stay the night with the dude. Okay. And she know that. 1331 on the phone. And again, that feeling that these women are experiencing, this, this empress in particular, when she stay the night, that's literally that woman up doing magic on him and whoever he got over there at his crib. That's literally what's happening to you, okay? So, you know, that shit continues to linger days later. So, you know, you feeling like a Krabby Patty. You may not even be feeling him like that all of a sudden. Y'all may start going at it, having these little arguments. That's what I'm getting here. Like y'all be button heads all of a sudden once y'all just had this great time together. 1414 14 on the phone. And you're wondering why am I in this energy? I mean, everything was just straight. We were just kicking it yesterday. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I took a positive risk in this man's direction and everything was lovely. Why are we at odds today? Why am I feeling cranky and like I had drunk some cheap liquor. You know what I'm saying? That's how you be feeling. Like death. I'm trying to tell you, this woman be trying to make you feel sick when you go over this man's house so that you will not want to go over there no more. 
So I'm going to just say this. Honey, ain't no dick, excuse my language, ain't no penis, ain't no wee-wee worth you having to get sick every time you go over there to get it. If that woman is that damn crazy about this man that she doing, she is making you ill every time that you deal with him, maybe you don't need to deal with him. Okay, because I don't really see where y'all are like in no commitment. Okay, it ain't worth it. That's what the Holy Spirit is saying. That's what I'm hearing. It ain't worth it, Empress, because you're being spiritually attacked over a guy who you are just having a casual relationship with. And if you are not committed to him, he has not made any type of obligations with to you or with you. Let it go. Okay, let her have that. Because it's obvious to me with what's coming out here that he want her to. It's something there. He still has feelings for this woman. This is why this shit is being able to work. 1616 on the phone. So let them have that. That's my word. That's my statement for the week, child. Now that you know the truth about what's occurring, the the real deal has been illuminated to you about why you get sick every time you go over this dude house. Why you feel fucked up after you leave his house? Why y'all be going at it when everything was just all good a week ago? It's because he got an ex-wife a high priestess witch energy who is doing spell work on any woman that he is intimate with. Okay? That's what she going to do. With this night of wands, that's the move she going to make. Okay? She don't give a fuck. This her man. That Y'all, this lady, I'm telling you, I'm channeling. This lady got, this lady is in love with her ex-husband still. She is hell-bent on getting him back. 1717 17, even if she got to use the devil to do it okay that's where this woman is at even if she got to collaborate with entities and other energies to get him that's what the fuck she's going to do with this two of cups right behind that because that's her man okay that's her ten of cups <laughs> All right, this woman ain't playing no game. She definitely got some kind of shape-shifting energy going on with this Queen of Swords. But she is going to cut a bitch about her man. And that's what she been doing. Mm, 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 mm. Child, she can have that. Child wouldn't even be trying to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with nobody like that. That's crazy, child. Mm, mm. I'm telling y'all, she ain't playing no games about that love offer. 1818 on the phone. Any final messages, Holy Spirit? Anything else you would like us to know about this particular energy? I'm telling you, honey, Spirit says, let it go. Let it go. Let it go, honey. It ain't even worth it. I don't even think he be making you come like that. And I'm just, I'm just. With this five of swords. That man don't even be pleasing you like that, child. I'm telling you what I just heard. And then he'll go that car. But you trying to win out at all costs with somebody that ain't even pleasing you fully. And she definitely is going to try to win at all costs. Because she crazy behind him, child. She going to keep coming hard. Charging at whoever he tries to bed. Okay, whoever that come over there hanging out with him, kicking and chilling over at his spot, they ask going to be out of whack. Guarantee, okay? That's what it's going to be if they choose to celebrate with this emperor energy here, okay? Because that's why she acting like that. Please know this. That man got some damn, some shit with him. He a boss now. She ain't flipping out over no page or no night, honey. She flipping out because he a whole emperor and she know what her life was like when they were together. 
and she don't want no bitch. Because I'm telling y'all, forgive me. I don't mean to say that <laughs> word. But that's what she call y'all. That's what she's calling these women that he deals with. I keep hearing it. It ain't. Ne you ain't nothing but that. She don't give a fuck. You a bitch, okay? She is not going to let no B take her man from her. So until they get back together, she keeping the air clear of anybody else that he could potentially fall for, okay? So I hope this message helps somebody. I do hope it gives you the insight and clarification that you need. But always remember, if it does not apply, please let it fly. Please only take what resonates and leave the rest. Don't forget to hit that like button before you exit out of the video. I do appreciate all of the support and all the many ways that you support me. Thank you so much. It is very appreciated. All right, y'all. I'm going to end this here. And I'm going to say it again. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Peace, y'all.